Okay, here we are with our Chevy Blazer V6 Vortec engine. Uh, it came back to us overheating. The one thing that we did not change out when we did the intake gaskets and other things because we didn't need to was the radiator. So hold on just a second here and I'll get us back in focus. Was the radiator there? So. Um, unfortunately, right now we have a bad radiator that has sprung a leak. Oh, and I will show you. I had to pinpoint it. Um, you can see, you can see where it's been leaking, and it's a good thing. Uh, I'm pretty sure my customer called me ASAP as soon as the truck started overheating because it really looks like it just sprung this leak. And if you follow, if you follow the kind of line of a mess up here you go up here up to the frame there right to, there's a radiator support right there you see if I can get some light in here for you and where where the leak is happening is right where my finger is this fitting it's aluminum into plastic and right inside of here is no longer any good and it is leaking so it is time for a new radiator now my biggest concern because this vehicle has had some overheating problems is obviously a uh, blown head gasket so and i you know uh on on this particular vehicle when it comes to overheating problems and some of the history that that this one has had um one one of the biggest issues uh, that you can misdiagnose is a blown head gasket, and and I think I told my uh, my customer that the first time that we did the job. So I took some extra time and I did did some diagnosis. I wanted to make sure that uh, hydrocarbons were not being introduced into the uh, the cooling system, and that's why the radiator blew because there was extra pressure being introduced. However. I have found no evidence whatsoever right now of a blown head gasket. So the next best best step to take is to go ahead and replace the radiator and put this vehicle back on down the road.